friends, welcome back to Storytime. I'm Sarah Coulter from the Courier Museum of Art. Today we are reading Katie Meets the Impressionists. We are going to go on a journey through the museum and learn about some of the most famous Impressionist painters and their style. We also have a great activity inspired by Impressionism at the end, so stick around. But first, let's get reading. Katie Meets the Impressionists by James Mayhew. It was grandma's birthday and for a special treat, she took Katie to the art museum. Katie loved the museum because you never knew what you were going to see there. Hmm, wonder what they're gonna see. Look at the flowers and the painting, said grandma. I can only see spots, said Katie. The pictures are made up of dabs of paint and color, said Grandma. But when you stand back, the dabs make a picture. See all the different colors? Let me step back a little bit. Katie wandered off into the next room to try. There she saw a painting called The Luncheon by Claude Monet. When she stood back, Katie could see a garden. Grandma would love flowers like those for her birthday, she thought. She closed her eyes and sniffed. She was sure she could smell the flowers. What kind of flowers do you see? Oh, wow. And when Katie opened her eyes, there she was among the daisies, hollyhocks, roses, and sunflowers. Can I pick some flowers, said Katie to the little boy, whose name was Jean. Jean asked his mother, and Nanny to come over and spoke to them in French. Un bouquet, said his mother. Oui. Jean, you go and help the girl. So Jean and Katie gathered flowers together. Are you going to paint them, he asked. No, they are for my grandma, said Katie. Papa paints flowers, said Jean. I'll show you. I wonder where they're going to go. What do you think is going to happen next? Jean took Katie to a room full of pictures, like a small gallery, just like the museum. This is Papa's studio, he said. He's a famous painter. His name is Claude Monet. Wow. I'm good at painting, said Katie. Let's try it. Using brushes, they mixed the paint on palettes and found canvases to paint on. They painted portraits of each other using dabs, just like real painters. Now I better get back to grandma, said Katie, and they went out into the garden. Will you come another day, asked Jean. I'd like to, said Katie. She picked up a bunch of flowers and waving goodbye, climbed through the frame into the museum. Do you have a painting that you would want to climb into? I think I have a few. Which one would you climb into? <gasps> Look at the flowers. Katie saw that uh, the bunch of flowers was beginning to wilt. Uh-oh. What I need is some water, she said, looking around the gallery. She saw a painting called Girl with a Watering Can by Pierre-Auguste Renoir. Katie looked around to make sure no one was watching her and climbed inside. Can I have some water for my flowers, said Katie. The little girl put the flowers into her watering can. Voila, she said, but the flowers still drooped and flopped over. Uh-oh, what should they do? Come and pick some more, said the girl. So Katie and the girl trampled through the garden picking flowers. Katie pretended it was a jungle and that she was a panther chasing the girl. Look at her go. Suddenly there was a terrible scream. It was the girl's mother. You have ruined my garden, she shouted. It wasn't me, said the girl. It, it was her. And she pointed at Katie. Uh-oh. Come here, you naughty child, said the mother. But Katie ran from the picture frame and leapt into the museum, leaving the flowers scattered behind her. Uh-oh. Looks like she got caught doing something she wasn't supposed to. Katie sighed. She didn't dare go back to fetch the flowers. She went to look at the other pictures. There were a lot of pictures by Monet. Katie looked at one called Field of Poppies. Wasn't that Jean, the painter's son, walking through the field? Katie climbed in to see. Oh. 
It was Jean. She was delighted to see him. We're going on a picnic, he said, and Jean's mother said that Katie could join them. They walked together through the poppy field looking for somewhere to sit. Jean helped Katie gather armfuls of poppies for Grandma. So sweet. I would like to go into a field like this and just lay down, take a nap. Afterwards, they sat in the shade of the tree in a perfect place for a picnic. Mrs. Monet opened a bag. She had bread and cheese and strawberries. <gasps> what would you bring on your picnic? But Jean heard a buzzing noise and looked around. A black cloud of bees was flying towards them. Oh my goodness. They're after my poppy, shouted Katie, her mouth full of strawberries. Jean and his mother ran toward the poppy field, but Katie ran to the picture frame and dived into the museum. Oh, thank goodness. Hopefully the bees don't follow. <gasps> the bees followed Katie, who ran on and on until she reached the window. She flung it open and threw the poppies out. The bees flew after them. Katie panted until she got her breath back. She still didn't have any flowers for Grandma. She saw another picture by Pierre Auguste Renoir. It showed a girl at the theater and was called Her First Evening. Out, this girl was holding a posy of flowers. Grandma would love a posy like that, said Katie, before jumping into the picture. Do you think she's gonna get these flowers? <gasps> May I have your flowers, asked Katie. I'll swap my hair ribbon. Hush, said the girl. The ballet is about to begin. Katie looked for a seat, but they were all full. The theater manager appeared. Mademoiselle, may I see your ticket? He said. Uh-oh, where do you think Katie's going to go? Katie didn't have one, so she ran off down some steps. She could hear the manager coming after her. So she opened a door to hide and stumbled upon some people in bright costumes. When they started shouting at her, she ran the other way towards some bright lights and the sound of music. Oh, <gasps> wow. Katie pushed past heavy velvet curtains and found herself on stage. The dancers held their breath. So did the musicians in the orchestra. So did the audience. What was Katie going to do? What should she do? I think she should dance. <gasps> Katie danced. The music started up again and Katie pranced all around the stage. How the audience loved her. They had never seen anyone dance like that before. They cheered and clapped and threw flowers. Hundreds of flowers fell upon Katie as she twirled around. There she goes. Well done, they shouted, bravo. When the music stopped, Katie curtsied and gathered up her flowers just for her. The manager rushed over to her. My dear, you have such talent. Katie blushed. I just jumped around a bit, really, she said. You must dance every night. You will be famous, said the manager. Thanks, but it's grandma's birthday, said Katie. I must get back. It's very nice of her. But Katie could not find her way to the picture frame. There were people everywhere changing costumes. She was afraid she may get stuck in the picture forever. <gasps> All of a sudden, she saw another frame. I must be in another picture, said Katie. She gathered up her bouquet and climbed into the museum. She's coming out a different way. Katie looked back at the picture. The Blue Dancers by Edgar Degas, she read. I wonder if I would have been painted if I had stayed still long enough, she said. And Katie ran over to her grandma and gave her the flowers. Happy birthday, Grandma. That's so nice. Her, my goodness, said Grandma. Wherever did you get these lovely flowers? Katie just laughed. But what was that in her pocket? <gasps> A paintbrush. Monet will need that, she thought. She ran back to the first picture, left the brush on the frame, and then ran to catch up with her grandma. The end. I really enjoy that story, especially because she gets to climb into the paintings. There's many times I've been at the museum and wished I could just jump right in. Now we're going to head over to my friend Lauren and she's going to share a wonderful activity for you all to do at home. Thanks for the great story, Sarah. Hi everyone, I'm Lauren. 
Today we're going to be inspired by the Impressionists that we saw in the book. Think about the colors they used and how everything was sort of soft. And follow along with me as I use chalk on top of water to make my very own Impressionist painting. 